Hello, I hope you're doing great. Today we are going to learn or to discuss a little bit how you can add Google Ads in your Blazor applications. Now, if you see Fairplay 2, Fairplay 2 already has implemented what it's known as Google uh, Display Ads, right? So those are ads that you can this you can or that you set in a specific section of your website right but the most they render whatever you place them right now before we continue please remember to help the help uh, me with the monetization links you can visit buy me a coffee right and you can also buy some of my books in here this will help a lot to keep most of our software free right and it can also help us a lot uh, funding Fair Play too, which is the system in which we are hosting the videos lately. Okay, so let's see. We have this Google Ad, right? If you have already worked with Google Ads in the past, you will know that they work by placing an HTML, I mean, a, a script in your index.html in the head section, right? And then if you want to use the display ads, you basically set or place another script tag in the places where you want those ads to show up, right? However, if you have already worked with Blazor, you will know that Blazor does by default does not allow you to set or to place scripting tags in your components it will actually give you a uh, compiler error because the blazer the way blazer is implemented you are not supposed to place scripts in your pages or in your views right however since this kind of scripts uh, like the display ads from Google, they require you to place scripts wherever you want the ads to be shown, you need a workaround and Blazor allows you to do that workaround. So how do you do it? So you will see then here in Fairplay 2 project, you will go to our components project, right? And you will see then here we have this Google AdSense right folder and inside the Google AdSense folder we have two files we have the display responsive ad dot racer and the display responsive ad configuration dot cs as you can see this uh, component it's basically a div with some auto generated key right and it says that if a variable name add is not equals to null, we render whatever that variable has. This variable is a render fragment. The render fragment is basically what the razor pages are made or composed of. With render fragments, you can basically create dynamic HTML or dynamic razor blazer pages right you can uh, actually set it to open another component and things like that so the things that you need to do is okay you create this component right then on the initialize method for this component use initialize the add variable right it is equals to a new render fragment and we have here the render fragment uh, kind of builder i will say right then you open an element the element is an insert right then you add multiple attributes the class the style the data add client the data add a slot the data add format and the data full with responsive all of these are actually the items that you get when you are configuring your script in Google Ads, right? So you will get the script and basically what you have to do is decompose that script 
into this render fragment configuration, right? So you are rendering from rendering it from the component. Then you close the insert, right? And then you open another element, which is a script. You add the content, right? Which is this, and you close the element. Then whenever you place this component, it will render all of these. Those scripts or that HTML code is going to be executed when the browser um, is parsing that, right? And you will have your ads render. So that's the way in which you can use display uh, Google Display Ads or Google Display Responsive Ads from within Blazor. Remember, basically you need to have a component with a render fragment, initialize the render fragment, and set all of the scripts and all of the HTML required from the component itself using the render fragment, and then place that component whenever or wherever you want to see it in your application. Thank you very much, and I hope this has been very useful to you. Have a great day.